You should be scared. I am scared. I feel a little scared. I'm terrified. <laughs> hey, Neil. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey, Tamara, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good. I didn't think I'd bump into you here. I know, in this weird abandoned building <laughs> in, off a back street in Northcote with a video camera. So you're going to be in Fringe Festival Yes, I'm in year. Fringe Festival this year. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about your show, Charmingly Useless. Um, it is, uh, it's an hour of, uh, stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. Um, and you're a stand-up comedian. Stand-up comedian, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But this isn't like a lot of shows, uh, the ones I've done previously have had like a story or a thread or something like that in it. But this is just like jokes, 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 jokes. Oh, I was, I'm cool. challenging myself to see if I can write a show that doesn't need a, a thread. Just a good, honest, like a, wow. like an HBO special. Yeah, yeah. You know? So I'm just getting all the best jokes I've ever written and like putting them in an order. Are you yeah. producing your own show? Um, kind of. Yeah, I'm doing it at the Imperial that's got someone producing the whole of the Imperial. Okay. Um, but I am like doing my, a lot of my production within that. Yeah. Mm. So when did you realise you wanted to do comedy? Um, um, what do you mean wanting to do what, Wanting to get on stage or wanting to stay doing it? Oh. Do you want to answer both? In my early 20s, I was thinking I want to do something and I was talking to my girlfriend at the time and said, oh, I might do stand-up comedy. And she went, oh, look, you're quite funny sometimes in conversation, but on your own, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. And so I was like, oh. And then I saw this guy who I recognised from the TV in a pub, the stand-up comedian, a uh, stage hypnotist. Mm. Paul Zenon, Mark Zenon, something Zenon mm. is his name. And um, I went up to him and I was like, hey, stand-up comedy, yeah, I want to do that. He's like, how old are you? I was like, 22. He went, too late. Too late? What? He's like, You're supposed to start at 19, get famous by 22. No, nah, there's no chance now. Craig McLeod asked me to go to a comedy workshop, and I did. And I stayed doing it ever since. Yeah. And that was in 2008. So, a oh, long so time ago now. Have you always thought you were funny? Oh, I've always thought I was hilarious, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I used to be able to have funny conversations with friends outside comedy, mm. but I can't do that now, because every time I do that, they're like, oh, you're just trying to write jokes with yeah. us, aren't you? It's like, no. no. If I say something funny here, I will remember it and say it later on, but I'm just doing what I always did. Yeah. No, nah, now you've changed. When you Not meet people, do you, when they ask you what you do, do you like to tell them you're a stand-up comic, or do you try to hold that off for a while? Mm. Depends how drunk I am, I suppose. <laughs> if I'm really drunk and I've, I've had a good you. gig, I'm like, hey, I'm a comedian, <laughs> hey, what do you do? <laughs> um, and then, yeah, they want jokes. They want to be funny. It's really good to say you're a comedian and then just not be funny at all. <laughs> just that a really sensible conversation. Talk about death yeah. for an hour. Yeah, we'll just talk about taxes. <laughs> <laughs> and house prices out in Moe or something. <laughs> so, well, of course, you know, with this, uh, this kind of financial situation, it's <laughs> dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> So you've been doing comedy for five years. Mm. How long till you think you started figuring out what you were doing at all? Like started understanding a little bit of I what's going on. Maybe in about comedy. three years, yeah. I might do that. It's hard. You never really understand it because it's not that. It's, it's not that, is it? It's not that. It's not. It's not a thing to understand. It's a thing to keep on like finding because it's, it's always out there, isn't it? So you can't just. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. So never comfortable. No, I think being comfortable would be a really bad, bad idea because then it, that's when you get stale, isn't it? That's when you get rubbish. Like as soon as the Rolling Stones figured out how to write music properly, they became so rubbish. And they were one of the best bands that were ever, ever around. So it's, I don't think, yeah, you, just, you don't, don't, ever, don't ever say that you've got it. I don't think any, I know any comedian that would ever say that they've got it that wasn't just a corporate hack. Well, what do you think creativity is and where does it come from? Um, creativity is a brand of drink I sell, I don't know. That's funny. Um, so... Your creativity is when you create things, isn't it? It comes from wanting to create stuff. Like if you want to you make something, you, you, you can just make it. If you want to uh, write a joke, you can write a joke and it might not be very good and then you write another one, another one and they should eventually. Maybe they won't seem like it on page but if you take a distant step back and look at it, they'll kind of get better as they go along. What do you think the difference is between British Boys and, and girls? Yeah. Well, let me explain. Okay, boys are the ones that when they shoot guns they do it like that. And girls are the ones that go... Mm. Yeah, so... 
Okay. Yeah, you watch them on TV. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's where they else? live, boys and girls. They live on TV. Sometimes, uh, boys, they have, like, a set of wings, and girls have got more of, like, a two sets of wings. Oh. Hmm. Why? Well, so that when they have to pollinate flowers, uh, they, they, can, they, can, they can nip about better. Mm. And, um, I mean, if, if all the girls in the world die out, it would be really bad for the flowers and the food, and we'd starve. Boys tend to, like, to be honest, boys tend to eat girls. They do? Yeah, because girls are kind of small, but boys can be quite big. Mm. And they just, oh, wait, no, that's birds and bees, isn't it? Oh, that's huh. funny. Um, so... Thanks.